Hi, hi again, it's Miss Janet. This is actually a lesson number 11. Okay. Hold, hold on a second. Are the students gonna recognize you without a striped shirt? No, I don't think so. Yes, I didn't wear a striped shirt. I, For some reason, I always seem to be wearing a striped shirt. But yes, they'll tell recognize them, me. Tell them it's you for sure. Yeah, it's, it's like me. It's not your sister. <laughs> it's me. Your uncle or whatever. Wait, they probably won't recognize me with my longer hair. Can't wait to get a haircut. But anyway, on to our art lesson. This week we're doing something called Zen Tangles. Now, Zen, what? Zen Tangles. Zen is a form of meditation, and Tangles is a, is a repet. They call it Tangles, but it's like a repetitive pattern that you use. Here's what we're going to do. It's all going to be in Sharpie on white paper. Now, I want you to fold your paper in half. Um, to get a smaller piece because it is intensive this kind of work it's going to take you a, a while to do each pattern but that's the whole point of it the point of it is to have you focus and be in the moment so you don't think about what's going on outside you don't think about anything else you just think about what you're doing in the moment it's very good for mindfulness is to just be in the moment. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's not hard. We're going to make this landscape. I'm going to give your parents a copy of this. You can differ from it a little bit if you want. You can make your own landscapes. Okay, so this is what it's going to be going to do. We're going to, please, if you're going to make the sun or the moon, please use something that will actually make a circle okay and then the clouds the clouds are all puffy on the top and kind of straight at the bottom you can put as many as you want i mean don't get carried away it's a small piece of paper so then we're going to do the mountains and some hills you can make them as big or small as you want. And then the ground. The ground is just gonna come in like that. Okay, and then you can put some bushes maybe over here and maybe another bush over here. And that's it. I mean, you can make your own, but the trick of it is to use different patterns on different pieces of the landscape and continue the same pattern for that piece. So if this is all dots, this is all this becomes all dots. If this is stripes, dark ones, light ones, same thing. If this is plain stripes, same thing. I just made these patterns up as I went along and the clouds, I made, you know, curly cues. But what I'm gonna give you is a sample sheet of different patterns so you won't have to go crazy trying to figure out what you would like to do. There's plenty of patterns to do here. So as usual, you do it in pencil first. If you need to use an eraser, use it. Then you go over it with the Sharpie. And then you put your pattern in there. Doesn't matter what it is, it could be stripes. It doesn't matter. As long as you continue the pattern in throughout the whole piece, like the cloud, okay? And, and that's it. And you'll see as you go along, you're gonna kind of focus on one thing at a time. One thing at a time, one thing at a time. It's, it's a good lesson to learn to think of doing one thing at a time and not have your mind wander over to the next thing or the next thing or the next thing. Because when you do that, you focus and it's very good for you, okay? So this is easy. 
it's tedious, you know that word I've used before. It may take you some time, but take your time, do a good job, and I would love to see it when you're done. Okay, this is Miss Janet signing off for this week. It's soon we will see each other and it will be great. Okay, bye.